Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Marissa. Today's video, I am sharing with you guys my 2022 skincare routine. Kind of like my nightly routine because it's kind of nighttime. Um, I have makeup on right now, but I'm going to take you through all the steps on my skincare. I've added a lot of new products since the new year, so let's just jump right in. So I got a lot of new skincare during the holidays, like Hanukkah and Christmas, and I've just been incorporating it, and I changed up my entire skincare to feel like that girl this year, which I have a video, and I'll link it down below on how to be that girl, or that boy, this 2022. And one of those tips is finding the best skincare routine that works for you, which I find that I have. So I'm actually going to start with washing my face. I actually have, you know, some makeup on my skin right now. So to begin, I've actually changed it up a little bit. I usually use my first aid beauty, but today I'm going to be using the Herbivore Pink Cloud Cream Jelly Cleanser. So now our face is all washed and what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to like kind of dermaplane my face myself and I tend to do this, it really just depends, but I try to do it at least every two weeks because my hair grows back kind of fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a little bit of oil on my face first. Um, this just helps with like irritation when I'm doing it and to get like all the little hairs. So I'm just using the Japanesque, it's like the eyebrow one and I'm going to get closer here. So I, I basically am just getting all the peach fuzz and dead skin off of my face. Now, I do have some breakouts going on because, you know, time of the month, but. So, I don't really like to have all of this here. That's just personal preference, not a big, I was just saying, not a big, um, like, sideburn type of person, only because I'm, I have thick hair. It's just so satisfying to dermaplane your face. So satisfying and then it feels so good after and then your products just apply so much better. So we're going to go in with some toner. I really love this one by First Aid Beauty. It's just the Ultra Pear Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. So what I do is just pour a little bit on my fingers and tap it into the skin. I don't use like any cotton pads or, or anything like that. Okay. Then next I go in with a little bit of like serum. So this is the Radiant C by Laneige. So it's like vitamin C serum. Just evens out my skin tone and brightens my skin, which is what we want. Oh, my skin feels so good. Make sure to bring it down the neck. Go in with another serum. Since it is nighttime, I like to use the Night Nutrient Booster Serum by Fig and Yarrow. So I just do like a little pump of that. My nighttime skincare routine is a little bit more heavier than um, my morning routine. Now time for oils, which is my favorite. So at nighttime I go in with two oils. I go in with the Herbivore Orchid which you guys know is my ride or die. And then I'll go in with the Herbivore Phoenix facial oil, which I just recently discovered and I love it. So I'm gonna go in with the Phoenix one first. And I just do like two to three drops of that. 
It smells delicious. Smells like I'm like getting a facial. Again, bring it down the neck. Now I am kind of breaking out a little bit, so. I do cater my skincare to that. And then I'm gonna go in with like two to three drops of this as well. Not like too, too much, maybe like two drops only. I was get above the eyebrow. Okay, now that oils are done, I am gonna go in with my moisturizer. I recently discovered this one. It's the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream. You guys know I love their Intense Hydration Ultra Repair one. This one is so good and it smells like you're on a tropical island or surrounded by coconuts. I'm not like a big like water cream or like gel moisturizer girl, but this one is really good and hydrating and my skin just like soaks it up. It's so nice. Okay, then going in with eye cream, I'm gonna use the Amore Pacific Time Reserve eye cream that I used my points on at Sephora because it is really expensive, but it is so good. And it smells, mm, it smells amazing. And I'm going to go in with a sleeping mask. So this one is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask in Lavender. I really like this. It is so nice. I might like it a little bit better than the Glow Recipe one because the smell is not super potent, potent than the watermelon one. This is very subtle. Helps you like kind of calm down. All right, we're almost done. Gonna go in with some Laneige like lip balm. I love the lip sleeping mask, but this one is the lip glowy balm in pear. Lastly, to finish off my skincare, I'm gonna do a little bit of gua sha This has been something I've been incorporating. I actually did at the end of 2021 for a little bit and I'm going to start doing it more and more in 2022. So I like to just do it at night most of the time, sometimes also in the morning just to kind of depuff. But this is the one by Sephora brand. It's nice and cold to the touch. I love it. So I kind of just do different variations of movements and I do about like 8 to 10 on each side of my face. This really helps with like circulation and puffiness but I also find that my products kind of it helps my products go deeper into my skin it like kind of penetrates them a little bit deeper and allows them to allows my skin to really absorb everything so like I said I do different like variations because I want that defined jawline, you know? And that completes my new 2022 nighttime skincare routine. Just super clean, glowy face is what I'm striving for this new year. And I feel like I got my skincare down to a T. So definitely find what works for you. I'll have all the products I use linked down below. But this is my skin. I feel energized even though I'm going to go to bed. But anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed. If you want to see my morning skincare routine, let me know down below in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!